Talk about teachers for a second. They're quitting in, uh, quitting in record numbers, and not just in the state of Texas, but nationwide. Governor Greg Abbott last year, we know, urged the state's education agency to figure out what to do about it. So fast forward to now. What's happened? Andre Lucia is here with us tonight. I know you sat down with six North Texas teachers to try to get a backstory and figure out what the heck is going on with all this. Absolutely. We've been following this story. We reported on it when Governor Abbott called for the immediate creation of that task force. He was worried the absence of qualified teachers could impact our children's education. Well, it's been a year and a half now. Teachers are still leaving. So we started searching for those who could give us the inside scoop on why. I'm having a heart attack. Mm -hmm. I'm having a heart attack. Ago, I started having no nosebleeds. I never had a nosebleed. And I just felt like everything was choking. I was like, what? what's going on? I had increased anxiety medicine, depression medicine. And the doctor came in, he goes, are you under a lot of stress? And I'm like, no. He goes, what do you do? I go, I'm a teacher. He goes, yes, you are. These are the stories of six North Texas teachers. We, we represent different grade levels. We represent different ISDs. We they do have one thing in common. They all recently quit. It takes a toll. I could not do it anymore. Together, they have a combined 140 years of experience. Raise your hand if you feel like you made a difference in kids' lives. So stepping away wasn't exactly easy. I mean, I can't do that anymore, but that's where my heart is. And I just cried because I yeah. thought that's my last, you know, that's my last group of kids. The Texas Education Agency reports more than 13% of the state's teachers, nearly 50,000 of them, left the profession last year, the highest number on record. There's more than just one reason, this group told us, for the exodus. But a good starting point is the money, or better said, the lack of it. Oh, and I know I didn't get into it for the money. I know I didn't get into education for the money. But I sure thought it would be a lot easier than having to hold down a couple of jobs to, to maintain. The average starting salary for a teacher in Texas is just over $45,000. As they gain experience, salaries increase, but not by much. Veteran Texas teachers make on average just $20,000 more than novices. I've talked to my ex-students mm -hmm. who are graduating and who are going into college, and they're like, I guess, what are you going to do? Well, I would be a teacher, but mm -hmm. the main things that are the drawbacks, money, they can't survive. Yep. They can't survive on what, it, what they're getting paid, and the retirement, when they retire, like, I know you know this, I'm, I'm, I'm retired, and I laughed at what I was going to get for my retirement. Like, I literally burst out laughing. Texas Governor Greg Abbott last year commissioned a teacher vacancy task force to look at how to improve teacher recruitment and retention. Topping its list of recommendations released this February was a significant increase in overall teacher salaries. But state lawmakers failed during their regular session to pass any increase at all. The task force also tackled teachers' working conditions, recommending redesigned schedules that increase time for planning and development. Oh, no one tells you that you do all the extras. You put out so much of your time and energy, not just during the school day, but after the school day, on the weekends, developing plans, making sure the kids have what they need. And if a teacher is good at what they do, this group says their job just gets harder. The teacher who works hard, the teacher who takes on the mother role, get the most difficult children. They get the tough kids. Those aren't gonna be the kids that make the scores on the standardized right. assessment. But the problem is you don't get any additional assistance. The pandemic only made it all worse. I don't know if anyone's ever tried to teach a third grader <laughs> on a computer. I had to do first grade. Yes. In person and so computer. So it's insane instead of the state stopping and saying, all right, we're two years behind now. We need to like help these teachers. They just kept moving forward. Mm -hmm. And so yeah. you get, you feel defeated. Not just moving forward, requiring more, mm -hmm. yeah. requiring you to work longer, no additional pay. Every teacher here says they saw the effect of increased stress on their health with high blood pressure, anxiety, and panic attacks. I had an anxiety attack on the day of STAR. Yeah. I thought, I thought I had committed like treason. We studied all 160 bills proposed this year that would have affected teachers. Most never made it to a vote. 
And in the end, not a single one of the task force's recommendations became law. Of course, they did pass this. Specialty license plate that says Texas teachers that you pay $10 for. It's safe to say they would have preferred a pay raise. That would have, that would have helped. Yeah, the Texas House did pass a bill that would have increased teacher pay statewide and overall funding for schools. The Senate passed it as well, but they made significant changes, making it all contingent on the school voucher program being adopted as well. well the two sides couldn't agree, and it all failed. We do expect to see this come up again in the next special session, uh, but it's not clear if anything has changed to resolve that deadlock. And, of course, you've got that whole impeachment trial to get through first. We got the, yeah, we got that slice of business. It, you know, if you know any teachers, you look at the teachers in the story, it, it feels so incredibly defeating, right, first and foremost for them. Uh, did they share with you what they think, did the true root cause of why they're all feeling this way and why they bailed out. Yeah, every single one of them talked about the lack of respect for teachers. It's not new, but it is getting worse. That was honestly the most emotional part of the interview and the most shocking. These teachers have been yelled at. They have been physically attacked. I don't get that. Yeah, and we're going to delve into that tomorrow. Well, we'll look forward to the education tomorrow. Thanks for diving in. And our big tip of the cap to those former teachers for talking. That's, that's a brave thing to do. Thank you.